Renovations. Hey guys, Investor Mel here. So when you buy rental properties at one point or another, you're probably going to end up having to do a flip, whether it's because the apartment is just really old or damaged or whatever it is, it's going to happen. So I'm not a handy person. I need to rely on a team. So how do I find these people? Well, the first one goes without saying is ask around, right? So ask your realtor, ask other people, other investors, ask um, the appraiser that you might have used, right? So ask, 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 you're gonna get some names, start calling them and, and doing that phone interview. Make sure as well to check out their reputation, right? Make sure to Google them, find out, you know, do, how's their business, if it's a business, do they have a good reputation overall? Are they, you know, have you heard some, some things in town going on that they're not so great, right? So make sure they're reputable. And if you do hire them and they're not great, this is a big one, move on. And I know it's hard. We've been through a lot of contractors, um, but it's not worth hanging on to people if it's not, at the end of the day, if they're not producing what you need them to produce. And it brings me to my final point, the most important point, return on investment when it comes to handyman, contractor, whatever you want to call, you know, the title that you want to use. Um, you got to make sure you get return on investment. Now, we were managing a place before and they wanted to spend, um, or the quote was $60,000 for a three bedroom apartment to redo the apartment. And we looked at the numbers, we thought, well, no, we can't, we can't go ahead with this. We can't encourage this to happen. This is ridiculous. How am I ever going to get my return on investment on $60,000? thousand dollars so you got to make sure you know yes you want things to be done properly you want everything to be done up to code but you know going too high end there's there's that you know there there's a level of at the end of the day you know are you how much rent are you going to get for that place you got to keep that in mind are you going to end up getting your return on investment or is there a ways that you can maybe you know get a really nice countertop but it doesn't have to be the most expensive countertop either so Anyhow, those are a few tips that I've experienced with the renovations. Bye for now.